Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Tales of Bursaria. We're back here at the Azure Teleporter thingy and we're finally going to be able to go in it. After going all the way to the top, we had to come back all the way to the bottom. Hopefully this is like the easiest boss, optional boss that we thought. Mid-boss? Hmm, you do not look like you're going to be easy. You look like you're going to be a dick. Alright, let's do this. I like your butt. Ooh, it's a big Miraculous game. Mimic. You were weak to earth. You got a lot of HP. What, what were you? You were... Okay. So, we'll go up here, but like, earth. Another earth. <laughs> All the earth! Um... What were you... What else were you weak to? Uh, strung against fire. Okay. So, no fire. And then we should be good. Where's my fiend one? I think that fiend one's fire. Where, where, you know, where's, where's, uh... Where the hell is it? Is this one? Yeah, this one should be good. Yeah. Yeah, that, that should be good. Okay, I shouldn't have attacked, apparently, because that was just, like... Cue for him to stun my butt. Kind of, kind of a jerk move. Alright. Okay, yeah, no, fine. I want that move. Yeah, you missed, bitch. He's going down fairly easy. Why do you have nine? What? Alright. Is that something we did to you? I feel like that's something we did to you. Which I'm fine with. If we lowered your defense by 30%, dope. I would love to stun you or do something to you so I get another soul. Wow, he literally can't do damage to me with his, uh... I'm so sad. Oh, you have the Chimera attack guy. Okay. No. Oh, so you're just a reskin of him. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, dog. Yeah, that's fine. Fine, whatever. Dope, thank you for that. Wait, what is... Interesting. For a second there, I felt like I wasn't controlling the character. I'm pretty sure I was. So that'd be weird if I wasn't. I don't know why I wouldn't be. Maybe I accidentally attacked the press the attack button because I usually I keep it on semi-auto just to make it easier on myself. Do not attack me. Do not attack me. Oh yeah, dog. Thank you for this. Yummy. Don't try to attack me, you big jerk. Right, I like I like that one because it's very easy to avoid. That one not so much. So use her like final blast gauge thing for break soul, whatever the hell it's called. Uh I gotta stay in that for twenty seconds. <laughs> and then hit it three times or hit it with a combo of three before hitting right trigger again. That sounds very complicated. Crap, you poisoned me, huh? Yeah, alright. Should try to hit a Mystic Guard on it. I've been keeping Roku in the party for a while, haven't I? He's he's gotten better. The equipment I got him was actually fairly good, so I mean I can't really complain, right? Guy's got six thousand HP. Though he does die fairly often for someone with six thousand HP. He has more HP than everyone in my goddamn freaking party. I don't know why he dies so much. Maybe he gets the aggro? I don't know. It, it's... 
Why'd Lottie set me? Oh, he was low on health. I mean, that makes sense. Kinda wish he didn't leave. I don't like I don't like how they're resistant when they do that. Also, Eleanor, I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing that same thing in like five seconds. Once it's stunned. Ow, okay, once you're stunned, stop it. Kill it. Get, oh shit, that's not enough. That's not enough! It's not enough! It's never enough! I'm so bad at actually gauging that. I refuse to fall here. The curious youth. Uh, strike? Dr. Dre? I don't know. Gun get your twister. What's the curious youth the achievement? Super Lady? Oh. Uh, deliver the follow-up attack from the air. Okay, cool. Oh, my expedition returned. It actually returned once in between episodes, and I already got it. Uh, actually, no. I finished the other area, and then I sent this out. Alright, so we got new stuff now. Dope. Also, it looked like it gave us a lot of whatever the hell it was. Um, interesting. Okay, I guess I will go back up to that last area we were at last episode. Because these are all done. These are all done. So yeah, we were all the way up here. There's a save point there, so I will meet you there. Alright, I am at the save point before, well, the final exit? To the star, anyways. There might be another area after this. I don't know. Uh, I did save just in case it is just into the final boss. We'll see, though. Eh, cutscene. Inomi Nod is just up ahead. Finally, time to repay my debt. You just like saying that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you say it a lot. Ah, you saw right through me. <laughs> oh, come on. It wasn't hard. Nobody here is going to do anything for anyone but themselves. I can't deny that. Your wheel is yours alone to hold. That is our creed. That is my that's my ninja creed. Sure? No skit? Alrighty. I like I like this. This is very nice. When I rule the world, this is gonna be my throne room. Probably won't be in outer space, but we can get it close. Hi, bro. I'm here to eat ya. Sorry to keep you waiting, gentle shepherd. The Lord of Calamity and friends are here to see you. I can't wait to strike down the world's greatest swordsman. You picked a fight with the Ifreed pirate crew. Everyone has to, to get a line. Lord Artorius, I follow my own will now, and I'm going to stop you. In my sword lie the hopes of mankind, the potential for a perfect world. Why can't any of us do, do that? Do you really believe that will without reason can break it? <laughs> Your sword is strong! Can I have it? But I need a strong sword. It's still only a weapon, just like ours. Why don't you test that theory? With your life, of course. Ever since you hit me, I've had this really annoying feeling in my chest. Love. But I can't figure out what it is. We all go through that. You're at the age. Then I'll just have to hit you again and see if that helps. Hmm. I'm sure I'll feel better after I eat you. Hmm. Creepy. I like it. Arthur. 
I finally have an answer to your question. Why do you think that birds fly? Birds fly. Because they want to fly. No. They don't need a reason. Even if their wings may snap and doom them to die. They don't fly for anyone's benefit. They don't fly because they were ordered to. Birds fly because they want to fly and for well, no other reason. Well, because they can fly because they have wings. You clip so a bird's nice wings, they can't answer. fly. Yes, because that's who I am. You were always like this. That sort of foolishness is what creates the demons and plunges the world into tragedy and despair. Then you drive the demons out! Isn't that right, Shepherd Artorius? That has been my plan all along. Okay, anime shit? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Do I do I not get to fight them? Do I just get to watch the fight? Aizen, I do not have you set up for spell casting, dog. Attack from his right if side. You want to kill us, you'd better finish the job because if you don't. I'm going to devour you! How are you guys missing? You're always missing. Oh, you got him! Shoulder tackle, kind of. Only your tackle had like. Left set cast indignation, for God's sakes! Oh, now we're fighting? All right, we got person, an unknown thing, who's weak to fire. You're weak to earth? Should we go after the power link? Okay, which way works? Are you strong because of the power link? Are you strong because of the power link? You are really weak. You have like no attack. I thought you're supposed to be like this badass swordsman. And you have no attack. A Nomenot has more attack than you. Less defense, though. Um, I guess go after this one first. Get fire on my thing. Right. Oh, we should probably put this one on, too, because it's person. Uh, we'll put that at the bottom. But they're weak to different... Things, right? Yeah, fire, earth. Oh, God damn it. I mean, you can do fire and earth spells. I got a few of those. Soren Dragon. Why not? And we got Infernal Torrent. Alright. And then we got Slagasthal. And there we go. Pay for what you did to me. Let's go, V. Yeah. I'm gonna fly too. Right. Which one is strong? <laughs> oh shit. Oh yeah. I will call death into your being. Am I not clicking the right button? Oh yeah, there, there, there. Oh fuck, I got some of them. Okay, well that wasn't too bad. Well, I mean Roku is almost dead already. Okay, she's dead. Why is everyone already dead in my party? No, I can't die here. Arthur, stay away from me. I need to revive my party. I guess Lodge said. Okay, so you have like stupid iron stance. Why is everyone dead again? What do you mean it's the final boss fight? People are gonna die. Oh, that's not good. No, 
I can't go here. Je Jesus Christ. All right. Um, how about this? We retry this. You were never worthy of victory. Yeah, I know. Um, I guess we'll go after Arthur Cakes first this time, and he's Earth weak. Sure. Any other Earth? He's strong against fire. Megasonic Thrones, sure. Retry. I shall sever all our ties. You'll pay for what you did to me. Let's go, Fee. Wait, which one? I'm gonna fly too. Right at your side, Velvet. Don't kill me. Okay, we good? Thank you for whoever just did that. I think that was my glue. Good? Okay, Roku's already dead. So you're taking like no damage. So you're the one that's getting power away. Shit. Alright. So first things first. I'm the realist. Second thing first. Explosion! Go after him. Go get him, you three! Brendan Double Get out of that. Right, I'm not set up to hurt you because fuck. Sure, you're not strong against Earth, right? So why do I keep no? Like it doesn't hit. Searing Edge, Soaring Dragon, Cerberus, ah, you're strong against that, right? Slag Assault, and then we'll do another Searing Edge, just for the fun of it. I don't, I, I apparently have lost my soul at some point. How did that hit me? Alright, well, fuck, right? Fuck me? That seems about right. Is he just gonna stand there and... Wow, what a dick. Just stands there and casts spells? Go away. Then we're gonna come back here and be like, yo, yeah, dog. Don't go in the circle, Rokuru! That's not your name. You're dead already, because, of course, you are. You're Roku. Not all divide. That, uh, that's an idea. And then I come back here, and I do... Another one of these, because I can. Is he just gonna do that? Alright. So, we're running into a bit of an issue here. Which is, my guys are getting fucked up by Nomonod. Okay. I actually don't know what to do. I can't switch anyone out. Let's get it. Just keep trying, I guess. Yes. I shall suffer all our ties. You'll pay for what you did to me. Let's go, Fee. Yeah. I'm gonna fly too. Right at your side, Velvet. Dragon Slash. I've been doing this way, way too long. Um, I, if this doesn't work, I don't know what's gonna happen. Cause, um, I tell you one thing, I don't know how to do this any differently. Like, I can lower the difficulty. I don't want to do that. But, at the same time, I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. At all. 
uh, before stacking Arc Defense and using the All Divide, I literally have been just getting stomped by a Nomenon. Like, he just runs up and he's like, Hi, dogs, I'm here to screw you over. And I'm like, oh, hi, brother, how's it going? Ah, nice to see you. And then he comes in and just, like, kills everyone. And it's all of this stupid insubstantiation, what the hell it's called. I don't know. He's, he's kind of annoying. And, you know, since this is the final boss fight, I'm assuming at least one or two forms after this. I'm alive! I like how it's just like, no. No, you cannot do damage to me. Yeah, good job on the... The freaking... Whatever. The freaking revive, that's what I'm looking for. For 20,000. You got 20,000 left. I would really wish if everyone just concentrated their fire on you. And then we can just do this. 20,000 more to go. Live set, dog. Stop. Dying. Kind of a clusterfuck. This is a clusterfuck battle. You're not wrong. I agree completely that this is a clusterfuck battle. I don't know how much I'm going to show of it if I succeed. Because if I don't succeed, I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to do. To be quite honest. Like, if I don't succeed now... What do I do? I'm... I'm... I'm stuck. I'm literally stuck. Because I don't know what else I could possibly do. Ow. Guys, can you actually do what you're set out to do? And interrupt? That's what I set you guys up to do, and you're not doing it. I'm not even counting that one, because I swear to God, you probably just did that by accident. Okay, guys, just just keep just keep at it, dog. He's almost dead. He's got 3,000 left. This fight is stupid. No offense if this is the file of boss. I'm assuming three or four more forms. But at the same time, I really hope there isn't, because... Holy shit. Yeah, that's right, you die. And oh, we got Artorias now? Motherfucker can't barely even hurt us. Look at that. Zero. Yeah, all the vibe. What? What are you weak against? You're weak against Earth? Earth. He's weak against Earth. I don't got a joke for that. What was I going to say? What are you, a poison type Pokemon? They're weak against Earth, right? Yeah? Maybe? I don't know. No, not, yeah, we'll do that the last one. Yeah, this guy is a joke. <laughs> Artorius, the strongest sword fighter in the world, is literally a joke. He does no damage, even without the all divide. He does no damage. He does legit no damage, except when he does his mystic art. Yeah, I know I'm stronger than you thought. You're an ass. You are a jackass. I don't know how much I'm going to have to cut out of this fight. Because I've been doing it for a long time. Like, insert meme, it's been 85 years or whatever it's called. Oh, wait, we have a person one, don't we? Yeah. I could use a, a elixir or something and then use a mystic art, but he doesn't deserve it. He does not even deserve 
my poorly timed Mystic Guard. I'm just gonna, just gonna beat the crap out of him and enjoy this, this, because I don't know what's coming, but it's worrying me. Because if Anomala is that strong, I don't know, I don't know what's coming. I don't know what's coming. I mean, am I under level? I mean, I am like 15 levels lower than them. Does that count? I'm gonna assume it does. But at the start, your soul burst didn't even do anything. That's how weak you are, dog. You got a lot of health. Now this would be going fast if I didn't have the all divide on. But I had to. I had to have the all divide on. Like, if I didn't have the all divide on, I would still be fighting or trying to kill a nomino. And I don't think I could. I don't think I have that much, many more fights against the nomino in me. I'll get a freaking glass gauge thing up. And we'll, we'll eventually kill him. Everyone is alive, right? Dope. I have like no life bottles left. I have two. That's probably bad. We never ran into the turtles merchant. He never showed up. He's not here. He's a dick. He had one job. Oh, we won. Okay. I was trying to do indignation there. Tenacious. Demons. We're going to need a lot more than that. <laughs> oh my god, this fight was... She's the reason. Right there. <laughs> I'll take care of you! <laughs> Stand aside, Velvet. Not Why? <laughs> Did he think she would? <gasps> oh, does that hurt? Probably, probably hurts. Not as much as this, apparently, though. my comb that was the comb that Luffy gave me not you we know me not uh, of course I mean know me not now reborn and you're the Lord of Calamity oh Artorius I'm hungry yeah yeah you want to go my to Burger King is empty my chest is empty. My body is empty, too. I'm... It hurts. It hurts so much. It looks like we won't be able to harvest despair by eating you anymore. Dope. Well, then. Trust me, you've caused me a lot of despair tonight. Birds must fly. Because they possess strong wings. Mankind must be suppressed because it possesses great sin. I mean, Malevolence, no tragedy. Oh, war, yeah, I mean, kind of, anger, but no tears, even love must all be suppressed. I mean, the last two, probably not. With the grace of my beating wings, I will grant humanity the tranquility it deserves. Nice malevolence there, buddy. You know me not. Come, devour my despair. Wait, what? <sighs> we're just gonna—we're just standing there watching this. All right, that's fine. Could have stand like stabbed him from the back. Oh. Okay, this is probably not good. Right, we were told they completed this, right? 
Um, I'm okay. What do you? I'm I'm a JRPG character. I need a giant sword. Oh, you got two hands now. You know me what are you, Mythos? Now, with the full might of my armadas, I shall suppress all creation. What about? Okay, we throw a fire and wind. Dope. Um, fire wind. So this is like worrying. Hopefully, he doesn't have the amount of power that his little buddy had. Also, Lava Set totally knows that spell too. What was it? Fire wind. Victorious was filled with. I guess we can do like this one. Yeah, and then defying conviction. This much despair? Was he holding it in check this whole time? One misstep, and he would have become a demon. We don't have uh. Victorious's determination, but also proof of his true nature. Yeah, this guy still is like doing no damage. Is all the vibes still? <gasps> oh no, really? Is all the vibes still going on? Because it's one battle. Oh shit. Well, I mean, that kind of sucks. He, he still does, like, next to no damage. Which is hilarious, given how much trouble I had. Is there any way I can turn off all the fire? <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be here a while, aren't I? Oh, this is new. Hey, can I eat you? I want to eat you. You're still a person. Despite looking like this. So we've done 20,000 damage to him so far. So I don't know if all the vibes still on. I'm going to assume it is. Because I guess technically we haven't actually ended uh, the battle yet. So yeah, that makes sense. That's also very sad. And very disappointing. This is probably going to be the longest battles that I've had in this game. Ever? I guess, appropriately, it's the, the final boss. I hope he doesn't have another format for this. You know, I like multi-form bosses, but... Um, the bullshittery that was a Nomina... I, I feel like I deserve a happy battle. Because <laughs> I will admit, uh, Nomina Battle actually kind of irritated the hell out of me. Um, to the point where I was like, great, okay, I'm going to have to stop recording this episode because it's been two hours already. And do grinding if I can't get this to work. Thankfully, with the combined force of all the vibes stacking up arc defense and um, setting their strategy to interrupt or interfere with energy uh, enemies, which they didn't seem to do all that often, so I don't know how much that helped. Uh, it, it went better than uh, I probably could have hoped for, right? I'm still in claw form. Wow, he does 20 damage when, uh... <laughs> uh the funny thing is, like, all this damage is actually just from, uh, Velvet's Claw. I might die. Nope, no dying. Yeah, I... The balancing is a little weird, I gotta admit. On this fight. Like, why is he so weak? Still pretty good. A little bit of damage. He's so weak compared to a Nomenon. Like, is that symbolic? Like, he's only human and the gods are obviously going to be stronger than him? I mean, I get that. But at the same time, like, in the last battle, he was literally doing no damage to us. In this battle, he's still doing, like, next to no damage to us. And when he does do damage, he apparently drops the frame rate to like nothing. What the hell is that? 
Well, he's doing a little bit more damage now. That's, that's good for him. I wanted to get indignation off. I was trying so hard, but at the same time, it just wasn't wasn't meant to be. Apparently. Oh, this is no right of rule. Right of rule. Did you just baseball swing me? No, suffer for them. No one died. All right. That was pretty cool, kind of. Oh, we revived her just in time. No experience, though. 1.00 grade, 21 deaths. I am a master at this game. Took me 25 minutes. That's not kind of the retries. Let us settle this here and now, Lord of Calamity. <laughs> I do like your Armatus. I wish I had that. I will devour all this hatred. Oh, you broke an adamantine blade? Bullshit, dog. Stop struggling. No, it's what I'm good with. You see how many times I freaking retried? Give up your fight. I will end the world's sadness. I have to end it. Arthur's forgotten Maxim. Headbutt? That's his Maxim? You. He is your brother-in-law. Stop giving him a hit. You is this attack on Titan? What the hell? Don't despair. No matter what. Yay! Spoken like a true hero. Bullshit. We're the villain. It's what you told me once, long ago. On the day. Pretty sure I punctured a lung. How are you still talking? Velvet. The Arthur you knew died that day. It was always there, in the back of my mind. If only it hadn't been Selica and my son who were killed that day. If only it had been you two instead. Ouch! I thought the same thing so many times. If it had been us, then I know. I know you would have fought to save the world for us. It's true. I wanted to save everyone. Such a pity. I would be a little bit more emotional if I wasn't so blindly mad at the fight with an Omanot. Goodbye. Are you not going to so call him dad? It's kind of surprising, I'm actually. Called Ceres his mom. I'm hungry. Hungry. I'm hungry. I think I have the ingredients for a quiche. No, it's not over yet. Oh, oh shit. I have no life bottles left. I guess I can control Aizen or Eleanor. No one is keeping his power in check anymore! This is bad! We still have time to kill him! Wait! <coughs> I'll do it. I endured it all. Even though I was scared. Even though it hurt. I know. I 
drank that gross medicine. I stopped myself from doing what I wanted to do. Eating what I wanted to eat. I tried so hard. Why won't you give me this? I hate you! I hate you, Velvet! Luffy said, <laughs> you tried really hard. But you don't have to fight anymore. It's time for us to rest, Luffy. Velvet will let Inomi not devour her forever, with her forever devouring him in return. She will seal him while keeping him alive. An infinite contradiction, a perpetual cycle of destruction. Velvet, you can't! You and I are part of Inomi not V. If he dies, both of us will die too. I dug my own grave. But... but you... Good. Then die. But only after eating, living, doing everything you want to I was gonna say, that's kind of fucked up to say. <laughs> <laughs> I really am horrible, aren't I? Just a selfish failure of a human being. Demon. You're a demon. But despite all that, you still saved me. With your unwavering kindness and strength. I didn't do anything. Velvet, you were the one who... Fee, you must have seen it during our travels. Humans spend their lives in constant struggle. That's why they end up making so many mistakes. Even my poor brother. That's why... I'm asking this of you. Please live. I was the cause of so much chaos and destruction. Help the world I ruined. Help people like me. Help the weak. To be fair, he helped ruin the this world is too. My last selfish request. That's that's not fair. I'm truly Sorry. What the fuck? It's okay. <laughs> I forgive you. All right. Velvet, I love you. Thank you. I I love you too. Fee. Aw, oh, mushy. So you guys are just gonna like sit there for eternity? Huh? For her to seal an Empyrean all by herself, humans contain more surprises than I expected. Relax. These are the four elemental Empyreans. Now you show up. Pretty irresponsible if you ask me. You are mistaken. Without Innominat, the balance of our power will crumble. The elements will clash in violence and ruin. The world will take millennia to recover from the destruction. No! To save the world from destruction, a new Empyrean is needed. A Moloch of great strength and indomitable will. Bienfu! I'll do it. I'll be your new Empyrean. Hold on a second, Lafisette! You can't just- Let's hear him out. You are part of Inominat. 
You're not lacking in strength. But the question here is one of your intent. Just what do you wish for this world? What will you bring unto its denizens? I want people to have another chance! A chance for them to right the wrongs born of their fallible spirits! To give those who dream of flying the time they need to rest their wings! So that in their strength, their weakness, their cruelty, their kindness, these imperfect humans will one day stretch their wings toward the horizon! Make your dream a reality! Young, Young Imperial. Oh no, leave him, leave him as a lizard. Oh, he pretty. Oh, she's adorable. She's still a nun. We're never gonna tell her that she ate her mother, huh? Hey, Zavid. You could have helped. Could have really used your gun against a nomenot. So is Roku... good? We're really back on the ground. <gasps> the Dragon of Light! <sighs> good grief. Velvet's recklessness rubbed off on him. Hasn't it, Lafayette? Huh? Is that really Lafayette? <gasps> How? That is his Empyrean form. It's also proof of his determination. <gasps> like an oath? Yes. Do I frighten you now, Eleanor? Kind of. Mm. Not at all. You've matured into a fine man. So was that flame your true power as an Empyrean? Demons. Malevolence. Did that fire get rid of it all? No. I'm still very much a demon. Hmm. The silver flame has the power to cleanse a soul of its malevolence and change a demon back into a human. But it doesn't have the power to change people's hearts. It just gives them another chance at life. Isn't that right? Sorry. Looks like my sins run too deep to fix. That's fine. It's a part of who you are. That's Roku, not right? fine. That's not fine. You're still a Kids, softie. if you're watching that, that's Aren't not you? fine. Well, that's just great. Huh? Most of the exorcists are wiped out, but the evil and chaos in people's hearts lives on. Gonna be tough going from here on out, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it will. Even still. Humanity will never lose its hope. Or it's prayers for a better future. Well said! The Malachim have free will again. Some may even lend you their aid to help create this ideal future of yours. I will spread the word. This world is now under the protection of the Empyrean Lafayette. Um, would you mind not calling me that? I don't think it really fits who I am now. <laughs> I guess you're right. That was Velvet's name for you. Okay, what should we call you then? Call me by the name Eleanor gave me. One who lives 
That's what Lafi said means. Translated into the ancient language. So wait, we're still calling you Lafi said? Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. What? Where'd your clothes go? This is a long episode. Probably gonna have to cut it off because we're like at two, two hours and 30 minutes now. Um, oh, that's nice art. I was gonna tell it to show us little side slideshows. Alright, so normally at the end of any game I play during the credits, I you're just gonna keep coming back to the naked bodies. I mean, at least she's covering his butt, so I don't have to censor anything. Then again, I didn't really do a good job of that at Bayonetta. Anyways, what was I gonna? What are my thoughts of the game? It's a pretty great game. Uh, I'm still rather mad at Enomenot for just killing my party during that last battle. Uh, so so mad. But, but it's a good game. Good game. Played it on hard. I think this is the first Tales game that I completed on hard. I'm pretty sure I completed Zesteria on a uh, moderate, uh, which is the second one, or the one below hard, I think, in this one. I think? I don't know. But yeah, I normally play them on normal, so maybe that's why I was getting my butt, like, stomped. I don't know. Or just because I was underleveled. Don't you think you, you know. Reasons. Oh, thank God for her long hair. Um, the story was really good for the most part of the game up until like a certain point. The the character, our party, were the bad guys. They were dark. Like they had legit no reason other than revenge for Velvet to be doing the things that they did. Now, after a certain point, they went from being the the bad guys to being the saviors of the world. At least saviors of the free will of humanity. So you know, kind of flip flop there in the middle. They still kept their aggression and their their anger and everything like that. But like, what are these images? I thought for a second they were like going through Velvet and Lobby sets like uh, early life together. But that can't be. Lafayette wasn't able to, like, travel anywhere because of you. Are these, like... These are... These are... What are these? Are they, are they like, dreams? Because Magilu's defending them, and Lord knows that will only happen in a fantasy. Um, yeah, story was really good. Character development-wise... I thought was pretty good, really good in fact. Um, didn't really have any issue with anyone's real character. They all set out, seem they all appeared what they were set out to doing, anyways. You know, no one in this game seems to have like a really happy ending, except for like I guess Roku, Magilu, and Eleanor. Cause yeah, like we're gonna go into some spoilers for Zesteria. In between now and Zesteria, Aizen becomes a dragon. Straight up just becomes a dragon. And we kill him in Zesteria. Does not, I mean, does not really have a happy ending. His sister is forced to, you know. Actually, I, yeah, I think she comes in to the fight and kills. I don't remember the exact fight. I do know we killed him, though. Uh, Metellus. Well, I mean, a thousand years from now, he also has a sticky situation where he gets corrupted by malevolence and kind of throws the world into utter chaos. Uh, eventually, he's, I guess, kind of cleansed by Saray, though I think Saray has to stay with him. I'm not sure the whole post... Um, post story on that. The pictures on the side are kind of throwing me off. Uh, music. Music is great in this game. Lovely soundtrack. Roku and Cigarette drinking in the back. Uh, voice acting was top-notch. There was some mixing issues, like, late game, where 
the voice clips just kind of happened too fast one after another or sometimes voices just didn't play uh voices didn't match up with some of the text late game i mean that's that kind of happens with a lot of games not saying it's all right just saying i'm not too bugged by it though i do point it out whenever i can why are you guys crying anyways um, controls, I actually like the combat for this game a lot better than Zestaria. I like having a full party. Uh, I liked Armatus in Zestaria. I thought it was really cool. But at the same time, you go from four party members down to two really good party members. But just two nonetheless. And you, you kind of lose out on it. And armatizing was, despite what the game tried to tell you, was pretty much the solution for a lot of things. Because it gave you a crap ton more health, crap ton more defense, and a crap ton of other things. Why are all the tail... Oh, they referenced all the other Tales games. Huh. Anyways. Yeah, it's, um... It was a really good game. I really enjoyed it. I'm kind of sad that I held off on it for so long. It's just like... I really should have played this as soon as it came out. It was such a good game. Um, it took a while for me to finish due to how I've been doing these recently, but uh, no, nah, it was it was it was worth it. I think we spent like about I think we were when I went in, my save point was like sixty eight hours. So with the amount of time it took me to beat the final boss, we're up to like seventy hours. That's not too bad. Um, I think I was a lot higher than that. Was I a lot higher than that on Zestaria? I'm maybe, maybe not. Sadly, my uh, actually like a lot of my saves got wiped for a lot of my uh, past LP, so I can't really go back and check them. Um, which is, trust me, a constant disappointment on my part. But just something I gotta deal with. Um, is there anything else I want to talk about? Uh, post game. I mentioned it a few episodes ago, like, I, I have a bad track record with actually finishing post-game stuff. I think what I'm going to do this time around is I'm going to spend one or the times that I'm streaming, or a few times that I'm streaming, and just kind of load up this and do the post-game stuff. Um, if it, you know, it keeps me interested. If it doesn't, then, you know, we'll go from there. Um, I'm sure there is... I'm assuming there's another... Well, actually, I'm pretty sure. Someone mentioned in the comments that there's a, a battle against Jude and Mila um, again. So I'm sure that's it. That's actually surprising that, now that I talk about it. Um, and a lot of other Tales games that have cameo exper uh, appearances by other uh, characters from other games, they're usually, usually like in a battle arena, tournament type deal. Um, kind of off in a different way or a different path where oh that's sad that Salkan author is a uh, kid uh, but yeah the characters are usually like in some place that's not connected to the main story at all um, but in this one they weren't connected to the main story but they were just side quests just in the open along the way like there was no finish the game and then you'll run into these characters. There was no do this battle arena, do the top tier one. There's these characters. There's no go to this village where you don't really need to go to at all because you're past this point in the game. And there are just characters there that will give you, like, questions. That's Tales of Destiny. Um, which actually threw me for a loop at first because Tales of Destiny was the first Tales game I played. Because it was the first one translated into English. So I didn't know who this... Krez was, or this Arch was. I don't like how they call him Krez, though. Like, they spell his name in English in the game. It's Klez. Anyways, different game, different subject. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I'll be streaming post-game eventually. Probably, probably... For, well, I usually stream Fridays or Saturdays. But... Oh, Lafayette's watching over them. Okay. That's got to suck for, uh, like, the real Lafayette and Omanot Lafayette. Because I know, like... Hello? Like, you know, he, like he's resurrected, so he's not actually Lafayette, but he has the... the memories and such, so he is kind of... This is not the end of chaos. 
It is the beginning. Oh, you're, use, you're using the sword now, Roku. I'm so mad at you. You couldn't use that during... Oh, you're no, using two long great swords. I hate you so much. <laughs> couldn't do that in the game? Couldn't do that in the game. No? Just as they Big jerk. Do. Oh, Aizen's invisible. That's sad. Even if he says he's alright with it, that's sad. Oh, Aizen. People will still spread their wings to seek the horizon. Go visit your sister, she misses you. At least before you turn into a dragon. Just as they did. Which town is this? For every laugh, there will be tears. What town is this? This world is cruel and unforgiving. Hey, come on. <laughs> Even the gods themselves don't know what the future will bring. So she can still see the Malachim. So when you fall right on it. <laughs> Nevertheless, I will always believe in them, though. In humanity, both strong and weak. Seriously, though, where in did your clothes go? Did they rot off? It hasn't been that long. The day will finally come when your dream becomes reality. Until then, I will kindle a flame within me. Burning strong and bright. And I will live. For a thousand years, give or take. Velvet Crow achievement unlocked. Finn, let me guess, you're gonna allow me to save? Congratulations on completing the game. You can now save the data. Later, load it to continue playing with just just before the final battle. Additionally, new A plus is available from the title screen. Selecting this option will allow you to start the game anew using your completed games data. Dope. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, I almost did. So. Oh, wow, so we're probably at 71 hours then, because it doesn't... Does it count the time? It might count the reset time. So maybe I didn't fight him for as long as I thought. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode or the series, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head on my video section and check out some of my other content and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day.